deep below the ground in Geneva, scientists are constructing the biggest, most complicated, most expensive experiment in history. One of the reasons for building this machine is to find a particle called the Higgs boson. But what exactly is this mysterious particle? And why are scientists so keen to find it? In 1993, the then Minister for Science, William Aldergrave, offered a bottle of vintage champagne to anyone who could explain the Higgs boson in simple terms. David Miller of University College London came up with one of the winning explanations. It went something like this. These are students from the University of Liverpool. They represent Higgs particles that are present in every corner of the universe. If a popular lecturer like Tim walks through the students, they crowd around to ask profound and intelligent questions. This has the effect of slowing him down. He has acquired mass. If a lecturer with exam results walks through, she is going to be absolutely surrounded by students as they clamour for their results. Her path through them will be very slow. She has a lot of mass. But if an unpopular lecturer were to walk through the crowd, they would ignore her. She would be a massless particle like a photon that could travel unimpeded through the universe at the speed of light. In other words, a fundamental particle gets its mass by interacting with Higgs particles, and massive objects have the strongest interaction. Although we've never seen a Higgs particle in our experiments, it's the most important missing link in our understanding of the universe. Because if a Higgs particle doesn't exist, then the equations and the formulae that we use to describe the universe just don't make sense at all. And that's why it's so important to us to find the Higgs boson. And that's one of the main reasons why we've built the Large Hadron Collider.